was like, you know, us doctors are partly to blame because if we had stopped this nonsense 20 years ago when they started making these kind of changes in healthcare, if us doctors had just said no, he's like, we wouldn't be in the predicament that we're in right now. So 20 years ago. And he's like, so we're partially to blame for saying like well basically like taking bribes if you guys do this you know the pharmaceutical company comes and says if you give out this or you give out that or you give out this then you get this much incentive you know and those doctors are oh okay sure and drips yeah and now here we are ready for our digital enslavement but when you said you were, you were in Florida and you were Oh, with... so I was in Florida with my boss and we had to wear masks at the um, equestrian center. Let me recall. I don't want to say like particularly exactly what show that we were at, but it was the United States Equestrian Federation um, sanctioned. Oh, dude, when we went there, that was in February of 2021, and they literally had all the chairs, um, like, tie-wrapped to, like, support beams and, <coughs> like, bolted down on the floors, and they all, all the chairs and the outside spectator seats were like if they were bleachers whatever they were like taped off for six foot increments like where you could sit the chairs were all placed six feet away from each other like bolted or tie wrapped to things so you couldn't move them closer to each other there was the um yellow vested mask police which was like teenage kids locally hired for like 12 dollars an hour because i specifically asked them hold a minute well you know the um, yellow vested, let's just call them the yellow vested police. They were just young kids, teenagers. Like, I specifically asked them how much they were making 12 bucks an hour. Hitler youth. Um, yeah, but you'd see those same kids, like, behind a little hut somewhere, like, with their masks down, having a vape or something. Oh. Okay, Barbie's really upset because I asked her to say another word. And she got really angry now, just now, and yelled and said, how is that possible that we cannot use the word M when they're making us fucking wear M? Exactly. Everywhere you go. Right. If you can't say it on the video, how can they say it on a stupid sign? How could they say it on your TV? How could they say it on your radio? How could they say it in your fucking eyes every second? Yeah, it's weird, but it takes the But you sent the, the, you get your video censored. Or yeah. I can't continue with my conversation because I have to say face diaper, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I don't even use that terminology because oh, I know it. it is face diaper because I asked in the beginning of this nonsense, Google the dirtiest body part and no one ever did. Oh, they just cannot believe it ain't your ass. The dirtiest part of your body is your mouth. And for you to go around with this material uh, with your... It's like wearing underwear on your face, but grosser. Exactly. It is just totally disgusting from start to finish. It's evil incarnate to make people put something over their ability to breathe God's air. Fresh air. Fresh air. Not rebreathed air. Well, they're all saying, you know how it is when you get an anxiety attack and they say, breathe into a small paper bag? Yeah. Well, that's so what everybody's doing. And so they're all <laughs> getting into this kind of hypnotic state. That's for carbon dioxide. For the carbon dioxide that they're ingesting back, their waste products, they're ingesting back in themselves, making them kind of buzz. Honestly. It's a small way to chip away at your conscience. And when they tell you later that it's your own carbon dioxide that's ruining the planet, then you'll agree to your own extermination. Yeah. Because 
you are the carbon dioxide that they want to get rid of. That's right. They want to tax you for just being oh, here. Oh, just for breathing. Living, for oh, breathing. you'll get yeah. taxed just for having a breath. You'll get extra tax. Speaking tax of. If you don't. Oh, yeah, this guy will be out of business. Forget, forget it. So much methane gas out there. It'll blow up the, the earth. <laughs> So right now, what's going on in the world is that a lot of people are going to be hypnotized by the satanic ritual that will be the halftime show. Oh, no yeah. Doubt. I don't even know who, I don't even know who the star oh, is. Let's talk about this for one quick second. How disgusting and sick it is that Alice said the other day she um, didn't know about the pandas, okay? And she was like... The people can't get these dolls that everybody wants. The Olympic pandas are like sold out or whatever. I don't even know what you're and talking I about. And I freaked out. I waked out. I was like, "Are you kidding me? That is the that's the mascot of the 2022 Olympics. Is the oh my Olympic gosh. panda? Oh yeah. my and word. Alice is like, "What? It's like their country's animal or whatever." And I was like, "That's sick. That's sick." And she did not know what panda eyes were so I unfortunately had to tell her what panda eyes were well she met my and then of course guru. they were mad at me because they don't want to know about that kind of stuff and they think it's they think I'm the bad one for perpetuating that and for just even putting it out there you know well and, I hear you but you want to be around like-minded people and you want people around you to be awake but they they it's not it's not fun they're not to ready to, for it's it it's not fun to have to be the person to say like oh You're, well i'll explain to you what panda eyes are it's like i really didn't want to explain to them what panda eyes were it's like Come on, you guys, just do like a little bit of research and find out what panda eyes are yourself. But I knew they wouldn't. So you're talking about abused um, children, children, yeah. pedophilia movement, and like yeah. what happens when how they look. Yeah, you know. I'm again, surprised didn't, she didn't know that. No, having taught and everything, Alice did. She did not know that. Well, but anyway, this and is kind of did, did Patty. it's esoteric knowledge, basically. I mean, because it's it's all that it's just uh a cult is just hidden, and it's just stuff we you don't hear about on CBS. But I was like, that's pretty sick that that's what the Olympics. Plus, is. it also looks like a thing, you know, that you wear on your face. Also, so it's like they got it going in all directions. What does the panda? The thing that you wear on your face. Everybody around us is wearing on their faces nowadays. It kind of yeah. has that look. On oh, panda. to make you look like a panda. Yeah. yeah. I think it's Google I'm thinking of. Like, if you scroll past, like, all your little pages when your phone is asleep, you know, like, you're not on any app at all, but you just scroll to the last page, yeah. you don't see, like, news things I don't, there. I don't, I, they blur past me. I don't even give them any, she says, that she, I, yeah, like, the Olympics, is, is, the Olympics is, has been on for a week and a half. I didn't even know it. See and, my phone. and I say you should be proud of me because I'm totally. If I go all the way like this. Yeah, I say those stories. things, but I haven't been looking at it lately because mm. I've been looking at videos on enemy. YouTube. I know, but I know just... Know thine enemy. I knew it was... There's so much truth dumps in those fucking stupid articles, but I mean, not, not in a straightforward way. You have to... <coughs> you have to deduce. And you have to word? look... Yeah, of course. And you have to also look at all the occultic signs and symbols in that photo that they chose to put out there right it, it, the photos the wording the um code that they speak in the magic the words. masonic numbers that they dump in there absolutely of course um the other day there was something like 33 senators <laughs> said that they were not gonna back the mandatory vaccine or some ridiculous thing <laughs> plot shot can i say shot yep I can say shot. Yeah. We gotta get off of this forum. <laughs> it's way too censored. 
Oh, God, just the fact that you can't say M and get censored for M is the most ridiculous freaking thing. Well, the one heard. I did the other day on the Looney Tunes Tangents channel, I did say a bunch of other stuff about the town and just, you know, the whole shenanigans going on. Do you think it's because you dumped the town name in there? Of course not, no. What do you think flagged it? The M word and just all the stuff I was saying. <laughs>